Hey, sorry this isn't really, you know, edited like my regular videos. I just haven't made that much Lord of the Rings content, and I wasn't sure how this video was going to do. But, I've started reading the books, and videos are coming, and, you know, I'm about halfway through the Fellowship of the Ring, and I just decided to make a video real quick, right? So, why didn't we see Tom Bombadil in the main Lord of the Rings series? Please do me a massive favor before I get into it. Slap a like on this video. Like goes going to be 420. <laughs> Get it? That's what Gandalf's smoking in that pipe. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> and then also make sure you subscribe and turn notifications on. Please, if you want more Lord of the Rings content, just let me know down below. All right. So why didn't we see Tom Bombadil? Well, in short, Tom Bombadil is oh freaking P. All right. So in the in the Fellowship of the Rings, like, so people will tell you that the Lord of the Rings movie are extremely faithful. And from what I've read, right, in the Fellowship of the Ring, not so true, okay? So, like, the first half of the book is traveling from this hill to that hill, singing, all right, eating, right, going to sleep, and then, you know, continuing the next day's adventure with a massive amount of descriptive language. It's amazing. I love it. It's something that's a bit different from the normal pace of books that I've been reading. Like, I read every single Frank Herbert Dune, and I also read Hunters of Dune, and then obviously I've read every single Song of Fi Ice and Fire book, including the World books, and then I've read, you know, all the King Killer Chronicle, all the Harry Potter books. I've read a lot! But th this Lord of the Rings is, 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 is quite different in the sense that it inspired most of those books that I just listed, right? So, it was kind of, I get the impression that, yes, it was a children's story, and I kind of feel like when Tolkien was writing it, he was like, let me encourage children to eat as much as possible by making these hobbits very hungry all the time. They eat all the time, they go to bed on time, they do things that I feel like was meant to encourage small children to do, right? So going to bed on time, taking a nap, and then also, every chapter kind of ends on sort of like the same note so far for the first half of the book of like, the hobbits eat, hobbits go to sleep, right? Um, okay, so the reason why Tom Bombadil was not in Lord of the Rings was for the simple fact that the whole encounter, so far I don't know if he has another encounter with the hobbits, but the whole encounter with them is just contradictory, okay? So, Gandalf tells Frodo, don't put on the ring. No one should put on that ring. And Frodo tries to hand it to Gandalf, and he's like, nah, no thanks. Please keep it away. I don't have enough willpower to not put it on, right? So, uh, you know, eventually he leaves. He's got business to take care of, and eventually Frodo and all the hobbits break out. They start heading towards the outer parts of the Shire, and they run into Tom Bombadil. Right? Tom Bombadil sort of saves their life at first and gives them food, brings them back to his uh, house under the hill, and has them meet Goldberry, who's this elven princess type figure that's his wife and like or his lady or whatever. And like eventually, Tom leads them, um, you know, uh, to back to the road, and they continue their journey. And eventually, they get lost. Tom has shit to do, so he goes back to his house, and, and um, they're not quite out of his country yet, but they get lost, and they get trapped uh, by what's known as a, a borrow down, right? So the borrow downs was something that was never in the Lord of the Rings movie alongside Tom Bobadil, right? So what happens is... Um, Frodo, oh wait, let me go back a bit, right, so when they get to Tom Bombadil's house and they're eating, Frodo has the ring pop out, they start talking about it, Tom is this uh, all-knowing spirit, kind of, and he ends up um, getting the ring from Frodo, right, and check this out, remember, Gandalf said no one put on the ring, no one should put on the ring, right, so Tom Bombadil slips the ring on his finger, and then the ring disappears, not Tom Bombadil, the fucking ring itself disappears, so you should know the ring of power. When anybody, when any human or anybody puts it on, they immediately disappear. This is what Bilbo does, you know, uh, at his birthday party, right? To make everybody go, what the f***, right? So it, it, Tom Bombadil is so OP, the ring itself disappears when he puts it on his finger, all right? So then he gives it back to Frodo, and Frodo cannot believe it, obviously. He's like, what the hell? And Frodo doesn't even think it's his ring. So Frodo himself puts on the ring, and then he disappears, and he's like, oh, okay, this is my ring, right? So then they uh, finish eating. Have a night, continue on their journey, Tom leads him back to the road, and then, like I said, they get lost, they run into that barrel down spirit, and then eventually Frodo thinks, let me sing Tom Bombadil's song, and he sings it, and Tom shows up and saves all of their hobbit asses, alright, <laughs> like he slays the uh, spirit, the borrowed down spirit, forces it out, right, and then, um, you know, uh, the hobbits are about to be sacrificed. Frodo is, you know, the only one who's conscious at the time. And then when he starts singing for Tom Bombadil, Tom shows up and saves them, right? Forces the borrowed down spirit out. 
brings out all the hobbitses, right? And he, he starts talking to Frodo, but before that, he brings out a pile of treasure, right? And I'm going to stop this video right here because I'm not too fur, far past this point, and I don't want anybody to spoil me down in the comments. But like I said, if you all want more Lord of the Rings content, just let me know, and I promise I'll pump it out and, you know, put it out as frequently as my House of the Dragon content and also edit it like that. I want to thank you all so, so much for listening. Um, my precious. I could do better than that. My precious. Hobbitses.